figure out who's on your network, and another iPad stand that rotates. This episode brought to you by GoToMeeting. Hey everybody, Jeffrey Powers here. Welcome to iPad 365, the show where we look at an app a day to keep your iPad in play. It is Wednesday, and we've got a great utility for you in Fling. And we'll talk about that in a second. First of all, I want to let you know iPad365, our Twitter handle is over at iPad365, of course. You can go over to geekazine.com forward slash iPad365 to catch all the episodes. We're up on YouTube. We even have a Gmail address at iPad365 at show, iPad365 show at gmail.com. You can always go there and uh, send me an email. Let me know what you think, what you like, what you don't like about the show. You can even send in your own iPad review and go from there. We've got a survey too, and thanks for everybody that has taken the survey. We've gotten some great data off of it. That's over at geekazine.com forward slash survey. Please fill it out, just four or five questions about the show, what you like, what you don't like. All right, today we've got an application that's going to help you figure out your network. It's an application called Thing. And basically what it is, is it simply tells you on the network that you're on, who else is on that network. So let's say you're at home and you're thinking to yourself, my goodness, my internet connection is running pretty slow. Now you, you do the speed tests and the speed tests come out okay but you haven't figured out why it is. Or maybe you got a really strange letter from your internet service provider saying, hey, you know, you've been using too much bandwidth, especially with today's internet service provider providers where they expect to put caps onto your internet connection. You want to know what computers are on your internet connection, or if you're in a coffee shop, you want to know what computers are on that internet connection as well. That's where Thing comes in. The application does one thing and one thing only. It tells you who is on that system. Basically, whenever uh, a computer gets an IP address uh, to connect up to the network through that, uh, through that node, they end up reserving that for 24, 48 hours, whatever's set on there. So what Fling does is it queries the router and asks, hey, what connections are out there? Who's connected up? And who do I have to be a little bit concerned about? Now, if you're in, an, in your network situation where you have two computers that are fighting for the same IP address, that makes this a lot easier because then you can see the IP address and you can see what computer is on it so you know which one to turn off or which one to fix the problem. It's, it's a standard networking issue for IT networking professionals out there. So a tool like this can help them sniff out the computer that's being the culprit. The name of the application is called Thing. It's absolutely free. You can download it right now, right onto your iPad. And I believe there's also an iPhone for, version for it as well. Of course, we want to meet with our iPad as well as figure out IP addresses. And that's where a program like GoToMeeting comes in. You connect up, you can connect up via PC, via Mac, via your iPad. And, and be part of a meeting. Now you can't start a meeting on iPad, but you can start a meeting on the, app, on the Mac or the PC. And then of course, if you're in a coffee shop and you can't attend a regular meeting, they start up the go to meeting session and you can be part of it through your iPad. Use the HD faces option. You can see what their, their faces, they can see your faces. So if anybody looks confused, you can kind of figure out what's going on and how to fix the problem. Great program and it, you know, I've been using it for the last four years, has not failed me once. I'm going to be doing a meeting a little bit later on today and I'm going to tell you it's, it's my meeting of choice over at GoToMeeting. Don't take my word for it, check it out yourself. Go over to GoToMeeting.com, click the Try It Free Now button and turn the code PODCAST. PODCAST gets you 30 days of that great software and that's over at GoToMeeting by Citrix. Okay, in the last few weeks, I've been looking at a few iPad stands. This one's a little bit different than the other ones. This one's called the 360. And basically what it is, is a stand where you put your iPad into, and it actually can treat it more like a monitor stand than anything. The one cool thing about this is it's got a 360 degree turn to it. So if I need to go landscape, I can turn it in its landscape. If I need to go portrait, I can turn it in its portrait, just like that. 
The other stands that I was playing with didn't have that option, which was kind of missed. But this one, I can actually put next to my computer. And if I have an application that runs in landscape-only mode, I just have to turn it 90 degrees, and I can be in landscape mode. I can turn it a full 360 degrees, so uh, I can put it in any way, shape, or form. It's perfect when I'm testing, because I can hook up the iPad on the 360 and uh, uh, test the application, and then just quickly turn it around and not have to worry about it. I got it down here because it's actually holding up my iPad. The only downfall I see with the 360 is you actually have to take the uh, case that you have existing on there and then uh, you got to take that off and then put it into the 360. Not too big of a fan of taking a case off to put it on to another stand simply because of the fact that these are it's just basically plastic that's holding a case together. So if you start taking it off, put it on, you're, you're kind of uh, pulling at the, the 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 case and eventually your cases are not going to snap on and stay on and that's what I'm really concerned about so um, I like the case I like the idea I wish they'd have more of a clip system so I can actually keep my existing case on it but it's a fun it's a nice little uh, stand where you can use to do different things if especially if you have to display it makes it a lot easier it makes the iPad stand up a little bit more and it's pretty cool it's not a very travel easy uh, stand. It's more meant for the home anyway. So you can check it out. It's a 360 case. And of course, check it out. And that's the episode for today. What do you think? Do you use the thing application? Have you looked for IP addresses? Check it out. You know, try it on your on your local LAN. See if uh, neighbors are getting into your network or something like that. Go down to the coffee shop. See who else is connected up. I mean, it's not going to do anything more than just tell you the IP address and name of the computer, which you can then email to yourself if you wanted to. But uh, it's it's a nice little tool, especially for you IT admins out there. All right, on tomorrow's show, we're going to talk about an Instagram alternative for some of you that need to get off of Instagram. We're going to get that done in 24 when it will be another episode of iPad 365. My name is Jeffrey Powers, and until then, geek out. You should follow Graphite on Twitter at GraphiteINC.